Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go, and we're taking a quick look at the Tsunehisa Algami Super Sekuda Guto 2 10mm knife. So this knife has three layer construction, the center hardcore cutting edge steel, you can see the cladding line right here, so this is the soft stainless cladding, this is the coarse steel, which is Algami or Blue Paper Super Reactive High Carbon Steel, heat treats about 62 to 63 Rockwell, and AS or Algami Super is known to have really nice edge retention and yet it sharpens up pretty darn well and will get really, really sharp. So it's a good combination of sharpness, ease of sharpening, and edge retention all in the same package with a little bit of leaning towards edge retention. The uh, construction again has soft stainless cladding on either side of that hard core cutting edge steel. The stainless cladding has a hammered uh, or tsushime or pebble kind of pattern to it. And there's a lot of interesting things going on. You've got kind of a sandblasted gunmetal gray kind of finish to the blade grind here. And you can easily see that cladding line. Uh, that shiny part there is the edge bevel, the actual cutting edge. The weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 144 grams or 5.1 ounces. And the edge length is 216 millimeters or about 8.5 inches. The overall length are right about 14 inches between the tip and the end of the handle. Spine thickness, I measured about two millimeters thick all the way down the blade. We don't really have too much in the way of a taper to the spine, so two millimeters thick, and you can see the bumps on there from the way they hammered this. Um, so interesting, you got some bumps on the spine there. And then it really doesn't get super thin at the tip. It's not, this is not a real skinny grind. You can see the grind does start about right there on either side, but not a, not a super skinny tip on this, so kind of a little more muscle behind it. And then here is the choil or back of the knife shot. Again, not super skinny at the edge, so you'll have kind of a balance between performance and a little bit of a little bit of meat behind the edge for some forgiveness and stability to the edge. Blade height is about 46.6 .6 on this one, and the handle is an oval, ambidextrous oval cherry with a red pack of wood ferrule so the cherries get just got a really nice color to it cherry's a nice warm color looks really cool um, they've done a good glue up job or seal job here where the tang goes into the handle so that looks nice uh, they've done some finish work to the spine um, as well as the choil into the neck um, so it's not super finished but it's enough to take the edge off and so the grinds are nice and these the blades are nice and straight out of the box edge is really quite good. I'll give it a six out of 10, it's, it's nicely done. And uh, they are not too bashful about the edge bevel. You can see the width of that edge. So it is Algami Super, which will take a fairly acute edge depending on how the this, this steel is treated. So they're not getting bashful with their edge bevel there. Um, let's see, balance point. So the balance point is fairly far forward because this handle is pretty light. And so there's your balance point. So for me, that's actually maybe even a touch in front of the pinch grip, but it's pretty close to a pinch grip, which makes this a neutral feel to it. And you've got a spot there for your finger to fit there, nestle in for a pinch grip. So very nicely done on a pinch grip. Um, oh, let's see. Let's look at this. I'm going to get my steps in here. So here's our kind of beauty shot on the blade. So you can see there is um, hand engraved or hand chiseled kanji on the right side of the blade so that's really cool looking and then you've got the hammered kind of pebble finish to the blade and then you've got a sandblasted blade grind down towards the polished edge steel or I should say the cutting uh, the core steel there peeking out before you get to the cutting edge here's the left side of the blade and on the left side of the blade there's some embossed kanji on there Let's take a look at the cutting board. Our spacer out of the way. So here's what this one looks like on the cutting board. Every knife can be a little bit different, but this is the general view of the cutting edge curve or profile. So it's fairly curvy. Uh, you got a little bit of a flattish area towards the back third, and then kind of a gentle belly towards the tip. Uh, this tip is not super aggressive um, sweep so I can get I'm starting to dig the tip in right there so you could probably sharpen this and sweep that tip up a little if you want to get a little more 
height on the back heel for rocking, but it'll rock pretty decent sized ingredients or product. And you get, do maybe a little chopping towards the back. So I'd say a pretty versatile profile overall. So this is just a nice looking package with um, Algami Super Steel, which is really awesome stuff, and stainless cladding for a little bit easier maintenance. Get my little thing back in there. There we go. So this is the Tsunehisa uh, Algami Super AS Sakura Guto 210 millimeter knife.